Hi everybody and welcome to my review of the multifunction tester, the TC1. There's lots of these available, you can buy them from just about anywhere. They'll test transistors, resistors, capacitors, inductors, you name it, they can test it. They've also got a little feature on there, you'll notice it says IR. So they can test infrared remote controls, only certain types though and uh, certain ones work i've not bought it for that i've bought it mostly for the components and the fact that it's uh, it's chargeable via usb little usb port at the front there we can uh, charge it via usb so yeah this is the uh, tc1 so i'm going to test a, a wide range of components on it uh, i'm just going to show you i've got some working components and i've got a couple of uh, faulty components as well that we can give it a try and see what happens so the first component I want to test on this, I've found a 50 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor. Um, now this is in the faulty components box, so um, it should be faulty, so it shouldn't be 100 microfarad. So we can just pop it in the tester um, in any of the holes, for example, in the top, and we'll see what it does. So I've just popped it in there and pushed the little arm down so it's clamped into place. Um, if I now press the start button, it says it's a capacitor, it's picked it up as a capacitor, but it's actually saying it's 62 microfarads. And it's picked it up across pins 1 and 3, which is right, so it's picking it up as 62 microfarads. Now, I just want to show you as well, as just as a test here, just to show you this. I've got 62 microfarads there. I've also got one of these peak testers. Now, this is, I say, an expensive 100 odd pound uh, just to test uh, just for capacitors. So uh, let's pop this particular capacitor on the peak and see what it comes back as. So I've just hooked it onto my peak tester there. So let's see what this does so it's come back as 62 as well so that's interesting it's fairly accurate between um, you know the TC1 and the peak that's on a faulty capacitor as well so yeah let me get a, a brand new capacitor out and let's just test a brand new capacitor So I've just got a brand new capacitor out there. You probably can't see, but it's a 47 picofarad capacitor. So yeah, let's pop it in the TC1 and see what it says. Just popped it in the TC1 there. Let's press start. And it's picked it up as 48 picofarad. So one out. So that's what the TC1 picks it up as. Um, yeah, let's switch over now and plug it in the peak tester just to compare a brand new capacitor, see what it comes back as on the peak. So here we go with the old peak tester. Open circuit or low capacitance. I think I know why that is because I think the peak can't read capacitors at this lower value so yeah you're paying all that money for the peak but the peak can't read them <laughs> so yeah the tc1 wins over in this case because the tc1 can read this value and the peak cannot so i've just found another component to test got a little draw and the first thing i found, or reached for was an inductor so i haven't looked what value it is or anything don't know if there's anything printed on it but yeah let's pop this inductor in and see what happens so it's testing that's oh, picked it up as an inductor there you go 19.5 ohms between pins one and three so that's interesting uh, that it's actually picked it up as an inductor so there you go that's an inductor now it will read resistors as well so i've just grabbed a box here uh first one i just grabbed and these are 10 ohm resistors so 
let's pop one of these in and see what it reads it as. So there you go, it's picked it up as 10.1 ohm. And that's a brand new 10 ohm resistor. So that's how accurate it is. Fairly accurate, if you ask me. That's good for that resistor. 10.1 ohms. So yeah, this uh, TC1, it can do a lot. It comes with a little set of... Uh, test probes as well test leads and they are the test leads there um i've just cooped them up to a transistor um i was testing but you can you just basically put them in the holes there and you can use them to you know clamp onto a transistor or something that you don't want to fit in the slots so it's quite easy to use um that's just a basic overview of of what it can do with testing a few components um it, you know if you put an actual transistor in there it'll tell you the different values of the transistor as well i know seem as we're here why don't we just grab a transistor yeah by the magic let me find a transistor so i've just dug a transistor out that we can test just grabbed one out of a box it's a bf871 so i'll put the details up on screen for this while we test it as well and we'll see what it shows us so yeah we'll just press start so it's picked it up as a bjt npn and we can see the pinouts there the base collector and the emitter and i'll just put them on screen at the side i'll grab the pdf and i'll put it on screen at the side so you can see the difference it should hopefully be the same just retest retest that so yeah we can see pin one is the emitter pin three is the base pin two is the collector there that's what it's showing us on the tester. Yeah, so it picks up and identifies what type of component you're putting in it as well. Like I say, you can use little test probe leads there that come with it. Or you can just use the actual base itself and just plug the component in and use it. Um, I may do another video on the IR sensor and testing remote controls. I'd have to dig a few remote controls out for that. But yeah, it's a great little tester. You just plug it into USB and it charges up. And as you can see there, it automatically comes on and goes off, you know, after a couple of seconds. So it's not uh, being left on. It's dead easy to use. You just put the component in and away you go. Um, one thing I should say is the top row is designed for transistors and diodes and things like that. The bottom row is for zener diodes it says in the manual it didn't actually come with a manual so i had to look it up online but there you go it's pretty straightforward to to use dead easy um the tc1 tester i'll put a link in the description below you can get it from amazon and all other good uh, sellers as well a lot of places sell these tc1 testers so yeah if you're interested in it i'll do a part two to this and test a few different components things like that just let me know what you want to want me to test really in this video we've tested a resistor we've tested a capacitor um, we've tested a faulty capacitor and a good capacitor we tested a transistor and we've also grabbed the random component an inductor and it's recognized the inductor as well so that's how you do it and of course we've compared them against the peak meter as well the capacitor tester as well and it was pretty much accurate um except for the peak can't test lower value capacitors but it's over a 100 pound meter and this meter you know it, it's less than 20 pound this meter is the tc1 and it can do a lot more you know it can do basically everything test all your components you could possibly wish for so yeah that's my quick review of the tc1 let me know in the comments what you if you want me to do a part two what do you want me to do i think i'm probably going to do the remote control 